The Trim Total War here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle playing Total War Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai as the Saga going up against the Kunamoto clan, where we have an army of 19 units. It's a good army. You know, you got some reasonably good troops here, you got some Armstrong guns, and you got some trash. Nothing wrong with having trash in your army, especially in a siege like this. These uh, spear levers can actually be more useful than line, line infantry sometimes. Anyway, that's the army that's sitting inside the settlement there. And then this one here is coming in to reinforce. So we've essentially got two battles to fight here. Now, given that these guys are coming in as reinforcements, we have an opportunity here to take these guys out really cheaply if we can manage to accurately predict where they're going to come in from. Now, the guy in the email has given me no additional information, so I've got to make a prediction. Luckily, there's enough information here for us to do that accurately. If we have a look at the map here, we can see the direction that the camera is going in. Okay, that's the line of sight right there. Now, this army here is positioned over to our right a little bit. So he's roughly there. So that means that this army is coming in from the south. So if we can manage to predict where it's coming from, it's not going to be organized when we come in. Ideally. Now, in... Rome 1 and Medieval 2, you can pinpoint accurately tell where reinforcements are going to be coming in from because of the way that the tiles work, the square tiles. But in the Warscape engine games, with the exception of Warhammer 3, it's a little bit more guesswork because it can sometimes be a little bit off. Also, if you position your units too close to a reinforcement zone, their reinforcement zone will actually change. So you've got to not deploy too close to it. So let, let's just have a look here. So if we have a look, it's coming in from somewhere around over this way. I reckon through there, because that's where the road is. Oh man, they're going to be coming up through here like this. Holy shit. Okay. I don't think this will block their reinforcements from coming in from this way, if this is correct. This here, this obstruction is not good. Yeah, we could get a real good f crossfire here. There's no point putting units here and trying to shoot down. That's not really going to work. You usually can't get close enough for them to do that. They'll just end up shooting dirt. How are we going to do this? Because we're not going to have long to set up. Okay, we've also got the Armstrong guns. We want to save that just for the, uh, the garrison. Because what we want to do is really bomb all the key positions and make it so that it's as easy as possible for our guys here, which will, will have taken a little bit of damage. Hopefully not too much, uh, fighting these guys. So we're really gonna need the artillery for the for the, uh, the, gar the one that's stationed inside the city. I don't expect them to come out and try to help. There's also some cannons in the city, but I'm not worried about them, because since they're wooden cannons, they're not gonna move, and they're shit anyway. Okay, so what if we position these guys along here? Actually, let me just see. Accuracy. Because these ones here have Neil Fire. Hmm, what if these ones were higher up on the hill, about here? They might be able to shoot over, over their head, because they've got longer range. Okay, and then if we try to create a kill zone here that way okay the men are ready to attack sir was all right yep I was right cool 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 all right and we don't want to go too wide because we do have access to Neil fire but we also need to be bloody quick because they're coming up here real soon and those obstructions in the way there are a little bit of a problem Get ready to use gun butter. Okay, so when they come up through here, they sh it just... Oh my god, this is going to be such a slaughter. It definitely would be good to have cannons there, for sure, to shoot at them. I could do that, but like I said, this is just going to be a slaughter for them one way or another. And we've essentially got more gun ammunition, and we don't really... 
uh, need the guns, regular guns, I suppose, small on fire, against the fort quite as much. We're mostly going to be requiring melee. Okay, get these guys here. To kneel. Oh my god. Kneel. Good thing that wasn't urgent. So our weakest point is right through here. Let's see if they realize that. That being said, there's still a lot of overlapping fields of fire for them to have to get through. The enemy has uncovered the hidden units. Hmm, we may actually be shooting our own men a little bit if they come in through here. I'm going to move the sharpshooters back a bit. Because, yeah, we otherwise might, might only be a little bit, but might shoot our own troops a little bit, which I don't want to do. Good, having a Shogutai unit get absolutely obliterated. Awesome. Oh my god. This is a disaster battle for them. <laughs> oh my god, I, I don't imagine the guy thought of this. Otherwise, I don't think he would have submitted it. Shogutai coming in. Come on. I really need you to shoot these fucking Shogutai. They're dangerous motherfuckers. These are just spear. They don't matter as much. You over here. Sir, your men have been Shoot this fucking sugar to Ah, oh, they've gone bunzai, so they're gonna be unbreakable. I need you to rotate back around here. Should have left them on guard mode, I suppose. Wait for them to stop moving. And there. There we go. Well, as soon as that bunzai is over, they are going to break. I'm pretty sure of that. Hardly any of them left. They did do a fair bit of damage. That was the most dangerous unit that they have in their army. The rest of this is just levy infantry. They don't stand a chance. Even if they do shoot at us, it's not going to do much. Sir, I fear your general is in mortal peril, sir. Could send our spears in, but I wanted to use the guns. This is where they're most useful in this battle. And they're just going to be totally obstructed because they just can't get a good line of sight. But yeah, catching the enemy with their pants down like this is exactly what you want to be doing. Why aren't you shooting? Because you're in melee with broken units. Because they're routing into us. These guys over here. I think this one's maybe a little bit obstructed. There's only so much space that I have to, to work with, so I'm just going to have to deal with that. Overall casualties are pretty low. Oh, but man, yeah. I tell you what, a naval bombardment here would be great. So Bounce Bow is not in our favor, but only slightly, and this has definitely improved things dramatically for this fight. But it's not the end of it. This is, this is essentially the easy part. They're just not inflicting many kills on us. They can't fire properly lobbed up like that. I mean, what can they do? They can go a little bit wider. But they're in a complete panic. Someone there. Look at that. Look at that. 370 odd kills so far. Pop that down. How many you got? Four? Huh. I guess you're obstructed. Just move back a bit then. Alright, the first army is defeated. 
Alright, ceasefire. No sense in wasting ammunition if we don't need to. Because they're just running into us here. And since they're broken, they're not going to do anything. It's this one here. Fucking 600 kills. Just killing just broken units. Yeah, you guys get in there. Make sure they all get wiped out. Because this one here doesn't immediately get destroyed just for losing the battle. So running them down is really important. 700 kills. Holy shit. Alright, now the balance of power is even. But we're not out of the woods yet. Because they've still got to assault a pretty high level fort. Now, they've got some wooden cannons in here. There they are. They don't have quite as high range as Armstrong guns, but their wooden cannons are actual total fucking shit in this game. The enemy has discovered your hidden units. Ready, so what we want to do is, rather than try to kill them, just get them to use up all their ammo. Alright, now these ones here. Let's start getting... Uh, where are we going to... Oh, what if I deploy them up here? Oh my god, that'd be awesome! But the cannons will shoot at us. So we need to clear them out first. Alright, what's our weakest unit? Lowest number of unit. Let's go with... Uh, I'm going to go with... I can't make it in mind. What's it going to be? This one here. It's already damaged. All right, these guys don't need line um, needle fire anymore. Okay, this one here. Bring it up. And let's start bringing these guys up this way as well. So what, we, what we're going to do is use these to draw the fire of the enemy artillery so they don't bomb our artillery when we take this position up here, which gives us such a clear line of sight into the into their freaking city. Holy shit! <laughs> this is going to be an absolute slaughter if I pull it off correctly. Start moving these guys up here a bit. Oh my god, how was this even a disaster battle? The thing is with this kind of fight is maybe he just didn't know about what to do. Maybe he just was like, I, I don't know, I'm outpowered, what do I do? That's what I've said so many times, the balance of power doesn't mean shit. What matters is the positioning that you can enable with your units. You know, having the ground advent terrain advantage is huge. Of course, if it's just a flat map, then there's not much you can do about that, but this map here has got all kinds of hills and forests and lots that you can do with it. Oh man, it's going to take them a little while to get there. Which gives us time to use up their ammo with this. Now the reason why I've chosen this line infantry to get shot by the enemy cannons is because it's already in a weakened position, which means it's actually harder for them to hit them. And I can go really wide like this. Just makes it hard for them. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, we're getting a shot. What's doing that? Can the cannons reach us from there? Yeah, the wooden cannons are shooting us from that distance. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're in range. Okay. How many men did I lose? Uh, someone got hit with the cannonball and didn't die. Oh, maybe he died and fell, like, down the hill. And maybe his corpse is down here somewhere. Oh shit, shit, shit. No, you, these guys here can get pretty heavily bombed by that. Okay, now they're shooting this one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, just stay wide. So they got three units of cannons. Just let them get through that. Speed that up. Oh my god, he's cheesing their ammo. A little bit harder to dodge this kind of stuff. I mean, you can try by just moving back and forth. But as long as you stay in a wide formation here, I just don't expect them to inflict a lot of casualties. And this is just so that they don't destroy any of our cannons, because we're going to need every single one of them. And this is also why I didn't use the cannons against the... We've got a good amount of operational ammo as well. Uh, why I didn't use the... Uh, the cannons against the, the reinforcing army. Because I wanted it entirely Sir, for this. The men are exhausted. Okay, is that it? You, you done? I think they're done. Okay, cool. Let's move. Bounce power's looking pretty good for us, I think. But yeah, look at this. Up here. Their defenses will mean absolutely nothing here. Okay, you guys will need to defend this position just in case they 
do sally out. Oh, but we have to get up there firstly. Hmm, okay. And we're going to be... There's no one there right now. There's no one there right now. Go the other way. We'll use deception. We'll make it seem like we're attacking this way. I really don't think they're going to send their cavalry out at us. What I'm trying to do here is make sure they don't put guns up here. Because they'll they'll get us as we're coming in, which will really bloody hurt. Because yeah, just, just sneaky up there. Sneaky, sneaky up there. Or, oh, we could have gone the other way. It would have been better to go up here. Oh, but, okay, look. I'm not going to waste your guys' time, but it would be safer to go up this way. I'm just going to pause the recording while they get into position there. Okay, so, yeah, it took a few minutes for them to get up over here. Obviously, nothing else has happened in the meantime. But, yeah, this was this definitely the safest option. Look at the kill zone that we've got coming up here. Okay, now really important that these guys don't be firing at will straight away. I want them targeting specific targets. Also, we need to make sure that if the enemy cavalry do decide to come out through there, that our guns are ready to mow them down. They can't come out through this. Well, they can come through here. Hmm. I didn't station any guns over this side. Let's start sending some guys over here, just in case. I don't think that they will, but let's just, let's just take a precaution. Okay, just wait for them to get organized. Okay, that's it. We don't want any weird formations. Okay, go. Don't shoot just yet. They'll fire on my mark, because they can't do anything to us. We can take our time with this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Napoleon would love this. Alright, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, kind of gave you your orders. Doesn't say they're obstructed. There we go, here we go. No, in the front here! Yeah, it, I wish I could tell them to shoot at the ground here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. They're not doing anything, right? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Now also, here, from this position here, they're not unbreakable. Only from this position up here are they unbreakable. Yeah, they're not doing anything. They're, they're finished. And it is technically possible for us to inflict the army losses on them. And obviously, we've killed about half of their army so far. Looks like he's got a little bit of extra ammo than what he... Like, from their base ammo. So that's good. Must have a foreign veteran. Oh god, yes. <laughs> they just can't do anything about it, and it's just such a good angle there. Really accurate shots. Alright, pick different targets. I should get the general up there to use um, Gambate. Otherwise, this will just take a lot longer. Well, a bit longer. Okay, another thing that we should do is destroy sections of wall that is particularly uh, garrisoned. Because if you destroy that stuff, then all the men that are like, gar are, like docked on it just get blown up. Dockable areas being shit all the way back in Rome to ah uh, Rome to Shogun too. <laughs> no, dockable areas are good. It's just in this position here that's gonna really work against them. 
Come on, how can you miss it? It's a stone wall. There we go. Uh, okay, don't worry about it too much. That may have been a waste of ammo. It'll make it easier for our guys to fire up at them when the time comes, though. We really want to make sure we get rid of the Shogutai, because if we have to climb the walls, I do not want those guys fighting at, at us. What have they got up over here as well? Not much. I wouldn't really worry about it. It's just levy infantry. Still got a good amount of ammo. Bounce power's looking good. Definitely think we've won the battle. It's just a matter of how much damage are we actually going to take. General, cool, that doesn't really matter that much. Killing cavalry with artillery is good. Getting the enemies going. So yeah, it is possible to break them down there. Did, did we kill... Did we kill the right general? Okay, there were two generals inside the city, so we killed both of them. That means that surely they're going to suffer from morale penalties now. Yeah, they can break, but they sort of break into the city. Oh, what are they doing over there? Alright, uh, has this been destroyed yet? Yeah, it has been. Okay, never mind. Destroy this section. Those have shattered. Don't fire. I've, yeah, okay. Look at this one here. 830 kills. And it was a perfect position to get even more kills. <laughs> Although these are mostly just free kills. I was in a very lucky position. Getting all the routing units. Alright. Good. And let's bomb this shit over here now. Oh, there's a fair few units docked up on this section. And over there. This is definitely the weakest of the uh, positions to attack, I think. Still got plenty of ammo. Bow key can be quite useful, quite dangerous. We should probably try to get rid of them. Alright, I think the army losses have actually been inflicted. Any units up here aren't going to rout. So what we need to do is try to... Is it possible I didn't waste that ammo? I mean, that's a really shitty position for them. I mean, that's probably not going to shoot us, unless we... Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that one too much. So yeah, units are constantly breaking. It's going to be easy to get up through here now. So here's still getting free kills. Might even get 900 kills at the end of this battle. But yeah, anything up here is unbreakable. So just try to thin up their defenses as much as we possibly can. Now, the more we damage this stuff, it will cost him more to repair it. But fuck it. It's artillery warfare, you just gotta accept it. I'm assuming you can afford it. Just enjoying bombing them with no repercussions. They just can't do anything about it. Good. Bomb the crap out of that. Do some of this. And some of this. Still got a lot of our ammo. This one here is used up. Oh crap, I destroyed the. I don't think that does anything. Sir, a unit has fired off all its ammunition. Okay, bomb over here now. Actually, bomb over here, because these ones here can break. We should also think about bombing the archer. Oh, they don't do much damage. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Plus, what we could do is we can capture that and we'll fire into the uh, the city. Actually work against them. Okay, now we've got a little bit of obstruction. We could just hit this one here a little bit. I could probably break it. So that one broke. Oh yeah, but it's breaking into the city. I 
Okay, let's pack this one up. It's since it's out of ammo. Move it out of the way. And let's reset up these ones here, try to get a better angle. Okay, just wait for them to set up and go. All right, who are we aiming for? The server, uh, might be hard to hit them still, but let's just see. Yeah, they're still having a little bit of trouble aiming. They, they're getting some hits in. No, they're, no, they're not doing that. Okay, continue shooting the bow key over here. Triumphed over the enemy. So that means that definitely means that the um, army losses is triggered. But yeah, we just got to get in here with minimal casualties now. This stuff's all broken already. There's no sense in not using up all of our ammo before we make the attack. Alright, let's start advancing. Let's use everyone that's not in the yellow. Primarily use the line infantry first. How do we go about this? Good, these guys coming in here just make them sit in ducks now. M much easier to hit them. Although they are unbreakable, they weren't properly breaking there Sir, anyway. A unit has fired off all its ammunition. That's how they go for kills. Yeah, they did 648. Nice. And th these ones are actually just shattering. Okay, fire, time to advance. We'll do that this way here. Now, the... The enemy bow here will have a little bit of an advantage over us. Because they can shoot over the walls. Arc their the shots. Damned enemy has damned ambushed you, sir! Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, stop that. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Gates are open, we can just walk straight through. Oh, that reminds me. I got these spear units that I said I would use. Now would be the perfect time for it. Just run up over here, chuck him into melee. Why waste the line infantry if we don't have to? Okay, you come down here as well. They'll be a little bit tired if we're running them all this way. They've got some units over here, Kisho Ninjas. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on. Could you guys possibly shoot them from that angle? Because, yeah, those are really actually quite dangerous. And, of course, I didn't see them until now, and I've used up all my ammo. Because these guys have bombs that they can use. Yeah, let's just see. Okay, we're in range, but do they have line of sight? Yes, they do. Good. Good. Have these guys here waiting for him. So that they don't rally. Not that they should rally. Yeah, they're shattered. Good. Yeah, there's a bokey doing this stuff, but they're just shooting at our trash, so it's fine. Up here we go. Only a handful of troops left to go. And we took out essentially two full stacks against a defensive position, barely taking any damage whatsoever, because you had a fantastic army and a fantastic position to shoot from. Okay, you should be careful about what we're doing there. Bring him in a bit. Oh, hang on, hang on. Um, send someone back over here. Cap that. Sir, their tower 
is yours. Doesn't really matter that much if we're exhausted. Let's just get this over with. There's only a handful of troops left. The only thing that's going to do any damage to us at all is the uh, the tower there. But we're done. Well, I think he's going to be pretty happy with that victory. Yeah, I think we're pretty happy with that. Oh boy, that is one hell of a kill ratio. Fucking hell. Holy crap. A couple there you just still remain. And I wasn't given any instructions on what to do here. That's a lot of money to loot. Oh, ooh, okay, your finances are not as good as I thought. Um, that is a lot of money to loot. Hmm. But it would lower your daimyo's honor. Which I usually don't do that. I, I, daimyo honor is really important. It's a lot of money to loot. I mean, you still have to repair everything. Go with peaceful occupy, I think. Ooh, okay, watch that. What's going on with your finances? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Shit. Oh, God. All right, let's have a look. So that's the settlement we just captured. If we repaired this, which you don't have enough money. Oh my god, oh my god, what are you doing? Okay, you need to exempt that one from taxation. Which is fine, because you weren't making any money from it anyway. You need to up the taxes everywhere. Oh my god. Okay, that doesn't appear to be working for us. No, that's less money than we're making before. All right, drop the taxes down a little bit and let's untax some of these. Oh, wow. You have not fortified your position, consolidated at all. This is not good. Yeah, you got like, you're not building any public order buildings. Fucking hell. Just seeing if I can manage to get this in a position that... Okay, that's not going to revolt, but you're going to be bankrupt nearly next turn. Oh my god. Got this one coming in here. Yeah, you, I don't know what you're doing with this. This campaign is not very healthy at all. Oh, there is some shit going on here. You've just got too many barracks and not enough like public order stuff being built. You might be in too many wars as well. No, not really. Holy crap. Can you get some trade agreements? No, they're hostile. My friend. Alright, what about what about some Some um, military access. So the Kokura. They're very friendly. Sell the military access My twenty turns friend. for Tell me what concerns you. And two thousand? We will resolve more than that? Problems. Four thousand? No, not 40,000. Oh yeah, this will sort out all your problems. Okay. Split the difference, 6,000. Split it again to 7,000. Split it again to 650. And split it again, 625. Oh, nope. Nope, that's not wrong key. Okay, yeah, that's... I don't know, I would not recommend expanding any further right now. You really need to consolidate. So that money there is for repairs because you need to fix your public order. Stop building barracks everywhere and start building, I don't know, the police towns or whatever or geisha buildings or whatever. Because if you don't build your public order up, how do you expect to expand without just leaving massive garrisons everywhere, which will cost you loads of money. So you've really got to tidy all this up. So you can get through that turn there without any revolts and you lose 580 gold but I made you a ton of money there. I'd also recommend, let me just check these other ones, that one's fine to be taxed now so that's okay and this one over here yeah the devastation is causing problems 
You just massively bloated your economy way too much. Okay, if we go through some of these these um, provinces, let me just see. Uh, which is the province one? If we go through these one at a time. So you've got a barracks and an artillery academy there. You've got craft workshop, financial district. That's fine. That's usually what I do as well. That one's fine. Tosa, another barracks here. You got too many barracks. I, I get that it provides you with extra garrison. Maybe you're trying to play the game where you just allow for loads of revolts. Um, but I, I would. You, you gotta lock some of this shit down. You got Tosa. Oh, right, yeah, there's a re rebellion going on, right. And see, if you didn't have rebellions going on, you wouldn't need all these troops here. See, all of this is costing you about 700 gold a turn. And the province itself is not making that much money. So you would be better off disbanding all of these armies and just not having public order problems here. Because uh, you, you, this province is actually costing you money right now. So you, you're doing a big bad there. Um... Another barracks there, you got too many of them because they cause a bit of uh, public order problems and it's using up a build slot. You don't need that many barracks. Another barracks over here, another artillery. Oh my god, you're just going crazy with military. That's fine. But yeah, the, the campaign's not too bad. Um, just, <laughs> you really gotta rearrange that stuff. There is absolutely no point being so aggressive that you're conquering everywhere if you can't actually maintain the public order. There's no point whatsoever. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.